Hey YouTube, how's it going everybody? Supreme Apps here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect an external monitor or a TV to your iMac, MacBook, whatever Mac you own uh, and what you'll need to use it. So let's get right on into it. Okay, so let's get into what we're going to be needing to do this. First of all, we're going to need an iMac or a MacBook or whatever, a Mac computer. Second of all, we're going to need an external monitor or a TV. And the t external monitor or TV has to have a VGA plug-in in the back. So before you buy it, make sure you go to the back and look for a VGA plug-in. That is essential and you have to have it. And it's now standard on almost all the new TVs out there. So it shouldn't be that hard to find one. Okay. Next, we're going to need a keyboard of some sort. Wireless is preferred. Um, same with the mouse, wireless is also preferred. Now, this is what you're going to need to get. It is a mini display port to VGA adapter. Alright, so let's start off the basics. We're going to need to connect this VGA into the mini port, mini display port to VGA adapter. So you simply just find out which way it plugs in. Okay, plug it in, and you can screw in these if you like. Um, it's not necessary, and I actually have trouble screwing the ones in on the adapter. I haven't actually gotten them. But it worked perfectly because I've been working without them. So we can leave those unplugged. And so now, we have this end to plug in. So we're going to slide it up over here and on the back of the monitor as you can see here I'll zoom in there is a plug-in right there that's blue that says VGA so I'm going to plug this into there so I'll do that right now okay so now we have that step done okay so now we have everything that's needed to be plugged into the monitor uh, the external monitor plugged in Let's hook it up to the Mac. So now we have the mini display port that we just need to plug in to the mini display port on the Mac. So we look back here and I believe, yes, it's the second one. You'll notice it's the exact same icon as on the display port. And you just plug it in. So let's configure it onto the Mac. Okay, so now I'm recording on my Mac. And the first thing we want to do now is turn on the uh, external monitor or TV. So you just turn it on. And this one takes a moment to load up. So you just have to be patient. I'll let you know when it is on. Okay. So it is now turned on. And as you can see, I already have it set to the VGA channel. But what, all you have to do is simply hit input on your um, TV or external monitor and as you can see I have all different options I have TV, AV1, AV2, component, VGA and HDMI so obviously because we're connected through VGA you want to hit VGA okay and now on the iMac itself or MacBook we want to open up system preferences so now we need to toggle the external monitor so we go into system preferences then go into displays and now we have arrangement and as you can see there's three boxes here this first one is the big one with the taskbar on the top is the iMac the one up top is my iPod um, and the one on the right is the external display itself so if you have it connected just correctly there should be another display box somewhere all I'm trying to say here is you should have another box and the box or square in blue represents the external display and as you can see the taskbar is on the iMac if you want to change that all you would have to do is click it and drag it over which I'm not going to do at the moment but you can do that and on the external display itself you will notice that it has an option or a box up there when you go into the displays in system preferences that says display and color so you want to make sure resolutions it's set on its highest resolution and mine happens to be 1360 by 768 
okay? And another thing you want to make sure is that mirror displays is unchecked because all that does is just mirror what you have on the iMac and it's not what you want. You want the external display to be whatever you want to use it for, like multitasking or whatever, okay? Um, and so that is how you do it. And you can move around the blue square wherever you want because basically what it represents is where you, wherever, as you can see, um, the blue square is on the right side of this iMac screen. So all I have to do is go all the way across the screen with my mouse and I will slide right on to the external display and the keyboard and mouse will work onto that display. Okay, so that is really awesome. I just got this working today and it's I love it already. It's really handy to have another monitor, extra space, extra real estate. It's just awesome. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Check out our website. All the links will be down below. And I hope you have a great day. All right, guys. See ya.